Now, if you're using thin provisioned storage, um, Velocity can also help you to reclaim space. So, for example, if you're using thin provisioned VMDK files in, in a VMware environment, it can automatically zero out free space so that you don't have to wait for hours for an SDLEAK pass to complete. If you're thin provisioning down at the storage layer, down in, in the SAN, uh, maybe it's uh, an HP 3 pass SAN or uh, a NetApp filer, it can also send SCSI unmapped commands down to the storage controller to notify that of blocks that are no longer needed. Also works if you're using um, virtual volumes in, in VMware, uh, vVolts. If your VMs are provisioned with dynamically allocated RAM, uh, instead of a fixed amount of RAM, such that the hypervisor can borrow some back to reallocate to some other VM, it is important to make sure that you reserve enough RAM in your SQL VM's configuration for both SQL and velocity. Otherwise, too much RAM in the VM could become driver locked by the hypervisor's ballooning driver, and that would mean that velocity might not get enough RAM cache to cache with effectively. Now, chances are that most of you, I'm sure, are very sensible SQL DBAs, and you've done that already. The last thing you want is for, regardless of whether you're running our software, you don't want SQL to become memory starved because the hypervisor has reallocated it to some other busy VM.